Hey traders, it's Amy here with Chart of the Week Stocks and Correction Across Sectors. Today's Thursday, February 27th, 2020. Now, before we take a look at the charts, important reminder that trading and investing can be extremely risky business, and therefore it's your responsibility to evaluate any information, opinion, advice, or other content contained in this video. So as I mentioned earlier in this week in my skinny dip video, looking at the action in the ES, which I monitor daily, I have been seeing signs of a potential top or at least a pause in the market into the end of last week. And since then, we have clearly had a much stronger fall than anyone expected. Now, this fall on the ES is showing that today's session is having a recovery. And that recovery would then be reflected in all the underlying stock components that feed into the S&P 500. So the question here is, do you buy the bounce? And there is no easy way to answer that. It depends on your particular financial goals, your trading style, your account size, and so much more. I do want to bring your attention to five specific stocks across different industries and sectors that are all displaying a chance for a recovery. However, they all are relatively short-lived, and I even give you uh, dates that I'm seeing for how long this bounce might last if we, in fact, get one off of today's lows. So let's take a look at these individual components. The first of them is Nike. And here you can see that Nike had a gap down that has brought it to the price action from October and November of 2019. Now, we tested this low at 88.74 from November 6th, literally by a penny before bouncing higher so far in today's session. This, in line with market timing, suggests that if we're able to see a sustained recovery here in the next couple days, we might see a choppy rebound that extends all the way into mid-March, specifically March 12th. Now, how high that might go will depend upon how and if a low forms here. Okay? We don't know if today's bounce will result in a straight shot up or if we might see a test back of the low, say for a formation of a double dub bottom like we did have uh, back in the fall. So very important to monitor and at the minimum, for this to have any sort of legs, I'd wanna see it get above yesterday's high, 94.65. All right, next on the list is Starbucks. So, and here we have a similar situation. We had a gap down, very weak uh, series of sessions here, bouncing off today's lows. Now, Starbucks did not test as important of a support as Nike did. You can see the support zone I have outlined is still further down ahead. So it's not as ideal in terms of its potential bounce upside, and again, I'm just talking about bounces, not necessarily time to reaccumulate for the long run. It's still too early to tell. But again, based on the market timing here for Starbucks, it looks like we need into mid-March to know um, if this is going to be a situation where the weight latest weakness was the beginning of a topping situation in the market or a downtrend, or if it was just kind of a uh, flushing out and we are going to see the next leg higher in the bull market. All right. The next ticker is JPM. So you can see that we had a fall that is also hovering near a key support, but not quite uh, down there yet. And if we get above yesterday's high with the current rebound, then there would be more uh, legs to this move. Fourth up is Southwest. The gap down in Southwest was a little smaller, but Southwest also has less of a distinct um, uptrend in its big picture. It had recently been in an uptrend within the context of this entire range. Now, on Southwest, today's low came just 12 cents above a very key support level on this market on the daily time frame. So just like the other stocks I've been looking at, if it can get above yesterday's high, we might see choppy recovery into mid-March. And then last but not least is ticker GE. So now on GE, you can see that there's a area of support way down below the current price. So still potential get down there. If we do see sustained recovery off of today's low, then we're looking at needing to get above yesterday's high to uh, talk about something more substantial. Otherwise, again, we have this room for recovery into early to mid next month. So this is what I'm seeing on a handful of stocks and it's likely happening on more. So I advise you to look at your price, time, and momentum to see what is coming together to help you for your portfolio, your trading style, determine 
whether any bounce is worth buying anytime soon, or if it's just more of a a rebound or re- relief recovery, and then we're going to be ahead of more downside. And of course, I'll be detailing what I'm seeing in the broad market in the Skinny the Mini every day. Catch you soon. You can sign up at hemaready.com forward slash gift to get my hot, timely, actionable updates as soon as I publish right to your inbox.